We've got a scraper on it, you know, scrape it off, like a window scraper, a paint scraper, whatever you call them. But then you risk the chance of pulling bits of wood out. You could wipe it off first, but the, sh but the glue can, you know, shrink back and you end up with a line. It takes two minutes with your belt sander. They're going through it plain anyway. So they've had the glue with sanded off. And what I'm going to do is put a straight edge on here on the jointer that might be the finished edge so I want to make sure that I've got a nice clean edge I've got a bit of bark there but I think I think I'm going to be able to cut that off and you see where it's joined to the back panel I want to put that at the back preferably and I've got my pencil marks there so that side's nice and flush, but this side has a very slight ridge. So what I'll do is put a straight edge on there. I'll rip it down because these are oversized. 320, that won't go through me through my thickness of the. So I'll rip it down to 302, 303. Put it through the thickness. Of, first time I put it through, I'll put it through on this side. That's the side that I initially, you know, jointed on there. It's the side that I put the biscuits on. That's the side I'm working to. So I'll put it through like that on the thicknesser. That'll even that up. Then I can flip it over, clean up the other side. Then once I've got it parallel thickness, smooth on both sides, I'll check that. Maybe square that up again on the jointer. Just take a fraction off. And it'll already been ripped. I might have to rip it again to the final size plus a millimetre or two and then run it over the jointer. Right, so they're plain smooth both sides now. So what I'll do is go over the jointer again. Just make sure that edge is square that I put on before. Then I'll rip them to 302. 301, 302. They're pretty much there already. I had to do that to get them through the planer, like I said, but I'll rip them to 302, something like that. And then just put them through over the jointer very carefully just to clean up that sawn edge. Right, so they're finished now, finished dimensions, just got to cut them to length. They can go back on the rack, on there. I've already done the tops, just got the sides to do, same thing. Belt sand that glue off, plain one edge, cut them to rough width, put them through thickness there. 
square them up. Then I can finally start making shelf units. Last ones that was taken off about half a millimetre. So now all the timber's planed, we can start cutting it. Now I'll cut bits like this off. And what I'm going to do is cut the sides and the shelves and the top. And this top has to finish with the existing picture rail. So what I'm going to do is cut them. 50 or 60 mil oversize. See, that's 1150, so I'll probably cut them at 1200. And then what I can do is measure down from the shelves, and then the legs will be flying. So, what I can do is stand them on the tops when I build the cupboards and cut the bottoms off to you know to get them level. So, that's what I'll do first. Seems to be a week of heat and doing things that I didn't want to do, you know. I stuck some bits of timber on with double-sided tape. I spent half an hour just scraping the bloody stuff off and acetone. So I'll avoid doing that, because it's still sticky. By the time I'd done that, I had to have another cup of tea. See, I had to do that to get these wider boards on and I've been I've been pricing jobs, visiting jobs one job's a house that I'm going to be doing a little bit of work on but I've been helping out sorting out the windows that's what you got to do to get future work so cut this I'm going to trim this end up See how we're doing. It's not bad. I'm not going to set a stop for these because the, like I say, the legs are oversized. So I just need to cut them a bit more. 50. We've got my foot 12.50 I only need 11.50 but that gives me a good 100 mil to play with when I get it on site Right, so they're cut to length. I've kept kept one of the best off cuts because I'm going to need that for me for me jig and when I mount this in the top. I pull that to one side. It does say shelf side on it, but just to be sure, I'll cut the shelves. I'm going to house them in five mil on each end, so these need to be ten mil longer than this side. This size, eight forty five. And 800 so I'll cut the bigger ones first if I cock them up I can use them as small ones if you cock small ones up yeah, they're no good for nothing I'll have to make another shelf but you know you know what I mean all right I've got my four sides there I'm gonna mark where the shelves are gonna go they're gonna be 13 inch or 345 is that, is that the same 13 inch 330. I've got 345. I'm going to go with this one because this is what I sent my customer. So, tops are going to get housed in using my jig, 
flux trim cutter that will run in there. Router, of course. So, 5mm down for where it's housed into the top top rail, the top board. 345. Then I saved a piece of shelf. Started right inside on it, like that other one. Brain's not working. 345. I'll mark that off. 345 again. Mark that off. Square them across. Cut some grooves. And I don't know if you can see from this Weather's played havoc with my wood Here See it's cupped a bit Got a bend in my wood Hopefully I'll be able to pull it, pull it straight when I get it in the groove It's like a carry on film isn't it so what I didn't mention was squared them across the best I can. Not bothered if they're straight at the bottom, but they're, they're not bad. Because like I say, I'm going to be cutting them off. Mark my shelves. 5mm for the groove, to sit in the groove. 345, 345. I'll lay them down. These are the backs. Because what I'm going to be doing is cutting a channel, stopping short. I need to make these in pairs, so what I think I'll do is sharpen my pencil, but I think I'll do that. So I'll lay that one down, that's that's up. Same with that one. I'm just marking these, just squaring them over. And it's quite a good square this. A barco. You can test it by putting it up to your line. I'll make it a line, should I say. Turn it over. That is absolutely spot on. You need a nice straight edge first, of course. I'll put an X next to that to remind me which side of the line I'm going to go. I do that because I have made mistakes in the past. So I'll do the same to this one. So, X next to that. And I marked on the 5mm, 5mm down. I'm going to be cutting that out. So, we'll look at the state of that. The fuck's going on there? Uh -huh. My jig's broken. It's got a big crack in it. Which means that's bent. Box. I can't be asked making that. I have another one. Big one. It's an old table saw at the back there. Another one here. Little one. It's a bit big though. Which means I've got to move everything. That slides and the gap is well there's no gap. That's good. So I've got my shelf piece. And normally I'd just sit it in, push it together, and that'd be enough, but like I could say it's bent a little bit so I dug my clamps out. They're in the van. It's a problem with my work. Sod's Law says the tool I'll need will be in the van. That sandwich there, it's not bad. Try not to 
smack this open first. to my mark need to move everything again I'll line that up to my mark there and set my depth I've got my depth stop what I need to do now is put a stop piece across here so when my router comes up it only cuts so far and I'll leave it back about uh, 20 mil or something. So that's the distance that I'm going to be sending the route up to. So I'll screw that on there. Uh, I think the light's staying on on this. That's why my batteries are always dead. Anyway, that's the distance. I've just squared it over. And I'm going to screw that to there. And then the router will stop at that point and it'll finish the cut short of the edge here. Right, so like I say I've just screwed that on. So that should finish that bit short. I've just screwed it on, lights on. Let's see how long that stays on now. Beautiful. Let's see if that bit of wood fits. That's a nice fit. Seven more. Alright, so that's two done. Slightly off my line there, but it won't matter. Bit of breakout, that's because that stop there was wider on my last one. Yeah, don't matter. Right, I should cut in there first. Cut in there, then come back and do this cut. Then when I come out here, it's already cut. Next time. Right, light's still on, look. piece of shit. So, two pairs, holes line up. Right, I'm going to temporarily put them together. But first, I need to put some little notches on the end of these.
little bit of snag on there, I can hardly feel it though. But I've been able to pull it straight. What I don't like about this way is this board will shrink a little bit in time. And that gap might open up. My only option would be to put a little rebate on the edge of the shelf here. So that it sort of sits into the groove like that. But then you get a gap, sort of that way. I sort of like the honesty of this because it shows that I've I've routed that in. That'll hold that board stable. I'll try and get the top on, like you saw. I just sanded a little chamfer on the top to help it go in. Right, so that's on temporarily, of course. But what I can do now is those little cutouts. I need to put two on the side of here. So it needs to come to bits. But also I can measure from there to there. And that'll give, give me my distance from my head. The heads are still in there, but I need to cut these grooves in the head. And they're gonna slot over the top. Just like these did. And 905. I know for lost a millimeter somewhere. Don't matter. Right, I'm happy with that. Right, I know it looks the same, but that's the other one. And I've got eight sixty there. And that is Eight fifty nine and a half. I've only lost half a mil. It'll become more like a millimetre when it's pushed down. Which is nearly there. But that's good. Right, so that's one of the tops. Got my distances. That was like I think it was this one I did, eight sixty. So that's eight sixty from there to there. And I remembered on this one to cut in there first and then come around with a cutter and cut round so that when it gets to there it don't break out. So you see you get a nice neat cut on the shelves on the sides. Pretty much forgot on everyone to do that. Yeah, just did it. Let me see. So cutters there, cutters on jig. Cut into your wood on that side then come over there so there you go nice and neat, it's flat on the bottom looks like there's a ridge but it's flat as that same with that one Anyway, get that one done. See on that one, I remembered on that one, forgot on that one. Forgot on that one, I remembered on that one. Nah. Fucking dick. Sometimes I remembered on that one. Forgot on that one. Sometimes got me head up my ass. Probably put another one in the middle when it comes to it. Stand it up now and get the top on. I'll get some backs cut for them 
and just screw them on, just temporarily screw them on. Then I'm going to cut all these boards up for shelves and 18 mil ones in run that is shelves and I've got to cut the tops and take it up to the house next week fit it temporarily fit it bring it back here and spray it then